Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to set up the single instructor demo for WPLMS and how you can take advantages of the new Gutenberg tabs feature that we have added in this theme. And we are using it for profiles, for courses, for creating custom tabs and how you can create. So let's see how it works. So first up, you need to install the WPLMS and the WPLMS Gutenberg child theme. Now for all the Gutenberg specific demos, we are using this Gutenberg child theme. Um, in default or the uh, blank child theme, you will not see the option to set up this particular demo. So let's just activate this Gutenberg child theme. Now here you can activate instructor because this uh, demo is called a single instructor you will not find this demo if you select MOOC so now once this is loaded you have to select the theme that you want to install and here we can select this and continue in here you can activate the features that you want And here we need to enter the purchase code. And then we are required to install these plugins. If these plugins are not installed, then we have this uh, docs.wplms.io. From here, you can go to the installing WPLMS on a fresh WordPress install. And here you can go to installing plugins. And here are all the links for directly downloading these plugins. And you can then go to plugins, add new and install these plugins here and then reload the site. Then we move ahead in the installation and you might see this error. Now you can skip this error by simply clicking on loading the content from alternate server. And now all of the content loads and we just click on import so once the import of content is complete we can upload our logo here so by default it selects a white colored logo since the header background is white you might you might not see the white color logo so we set a new logo here you can also change the primary color and the skin and continue so once our site is once our import data is complete you can see the that the import is complete the menus as the menus do not seem to be uh, configured correctly and this is uh, one issue which appears because in importing of data a lot of content gets mixed up let's see how the courses appear now this is how the courses appear which is uh, pretty standard and if we see the profile So that is how the profile appears. Now, once the entire thing is set up, we can log in. And let's see how we can uh, configure this completely. So let's see how we can configure this completely. Now, first thing we need to go to YBP settings. And we need to save this data, ensure that we have this BuddyPress single page app and, and the login screen. We have all this text here. Next, we can go to BuddyPress. We can set a member type. So there are no member types currently. You can create member types from here, from the uh, users member types and inside of here uh, we can create two member types like student student 
students so this is one member type and the instructor member type will have the capabilities of an instructor now once we have set these member types we can go to ybp settings and in here in buddypress we can set the default member type for any user who is registering is students you can also enable in uh, this enable user to select but then any user can become an instructor on your site as well but since you will want to manually review instructor applications we are going to see how uh, to create registration page for instructors so we'll set this as student and we'll configure these later on that we can have different dashboard and uh, different menus for the instructors and students so once we have set this we can uh, first fix the menu so for that we go to appearance and menus So the menu is the main menu and in here we have two home pages whereas we should have the all courses page so this page and then the app page so this is a custom link from the from the demo that you can remove and this is a redundant name and like this so you can fix this next is the profile menu let's see what all components are being loaded in the profile so we have dashboard courses profile activity messages friends and orders if you want to add more components you can add by enabling buddypress member and in the buddypress member you can add all of these for example you want to add notifications and the all members panel and also the settings panel right so we uh, later on we can change this panel for administrators only panel so now let's see if we reload this page and click here so we are now trying to log in and if we log in since this is the YBP login, it is different from WordPress's login. And we can now go ahead and see the app. So this is how the app appears. And we can change this uh, look from customize. And in customize, we can go to YBP settings. And general you can change the theme from uh, default to elegance right we can or you can have a slick and we can add the our menu image our logo image above the this so this is how it will appear you can change this primary color from the light colors so this is the light colors and so like this you can change you can change this color from the darker background so in contrast to this we can have like this let's see it's too bright so maybe dark right so you you can configure this uh, these colors optionally you can uh, here we ha also have the dark and light switch so the dark colors are to be set in the ybp dark colors you can also change the primary color for the dark screen and uh, if you want to enable default dark style then that is also possible if you enable this then by default the dark style will apply like this and let's just save this and continue with our user so this is the 
app screen here and here all of the uh, co create course creation and everything will happen now now we can also add the all courses in this our app so we go to lms and settings so these are special uh, special customizations that you can do for the LMS from the LMS settings so you can show the course directory in the app and uh, this is one of our favorite features you can enable the gamification and quiz or assign quizzes or assignments directly to users all of these you can set and allow instructors to set gamification points not just the administrator so once we save this you can you can check out our other tutorials how all of these work right so now we have this now let's reload our page and here we can you can see we have this all courses and this is how the all courses appears it allows you to directly purchase the course from within the app interface and so when we convert this into a mobile app here you can see that this is how it will appear for the uh, app users so now let's see how we can use this tabs feature in gutenberg using custom classes provided in this uh, gutenberg child theme so let's edit this page edit the home page and see how we are doing it right so this is how the home page looks like in gutenberg you can uh, go ahead and remove all the distractions so now here if we go uh, to the bottom here you can see we have this carousal and now let's open this document overview of gutenberg and here let's just select this so this entire thing is a column and inside these this column we have a single column which is basically outlining this to a particular container so if we just see this this is the columns and this is the single column which has this class as container if you do not put this class then the entire tabs will cover the screen size because that is the property of this full width page and this full width page is also used in generating the course layouts and the profile layouts so uh, you have to whenever we are creating the layout you have to create a columns uh, block under this block you have to have a single column which is going to have the container class or you can also put the uh, container class on the columns but this also provides you to add a background to the column so you can select columns and add a background to the column now this background will apply across the across the screen as a stripe as a strip and you can add uh, padding also top and bottom padding to the columns so let's just do try attempt this so we can go here and add a very light background like this and add a padding Not sure like this and update and now here when we reload this we should see a background and under this background you can see we have these courses so this will look very nice we are here at the column we have added this title courses i teach then we have added another columns and under this column we have a single column which is basically the container for all of our tabs now important point here is that this columns here uh, this single column here has the property of wipe tabs has the cl CSS class of of wipe tabs which means this is the container column for the wipe tabs and under this we have a tab list which is basically a list block and then we have different columns and each of this column is basically the tab content so if we select this list entire list 
we have we have to enter this class as vibe tabs list and on each of the list item we have to add a additional class to the each of the list items and after this list item under the same column the, because the column is the container for the vibe tabs each of these column has the class of vibe tab and the list class so when you are looking at this list item which is the featured courses it has the class of featured courses when you click on this it's going to display this particular column because they have the common class similarly when you click on the second item popular courses it's going to display this particular columns now columns is an incredibly uh, flexible functionality you so here we have added vibe carousal into the column and you can add actually add multiple ways to do this you can also have a title you can also have a, a multiple columns inside this columns so each of the tab will give you a lot of functionality on how to display your content same thing you can see here this is again a tab structure so this here so this uh, each of the column is a is is the tab value so this is a list and this is a tab value and the column will have the class of wipe tabs here you can see so that is how the tabs work now the same thing we have used in the profiles so let's edit the profile layout for that we go to ybp member profiles and edit the default profile and in the default profile if we so first block is the is displaying the basic information for the user in the second is basically again a tab structure so here as you can see we have the container on the columns uh, from a single layout so here we have again added this list view uh, this column and this column is having the class of wipe tabs under this wipe tabs we have a wipe tab list and this list each of the items will have its own custom class which is going to show the custom tab using these classes so here you can see we are using two column layout and we are using the profile field name uh, short code now when we view the profile you can see these tabs on the profile and they display the information about the instructor under custom tabs that you have created in the layout and this adds a lot of flexibility in creating custom profiles for your users so that's it from wplms tutorials thanks for watching